Wood Turners, you're going to have to watch the second half of 81A. Yeah, I ran a little long, but I want to show you how to finish out the bottom of a bowl. Because it's real important, and it's tricky. And I've already had comments about what am I taking off the bottom? Is it a tendon or a tenon? So I went all the way back to the books I started with in 1962. And I got two spellings. T-E-N-O-N, T-E-N-D-O-N. So for you guys from across the pond that think it's T-E-N-O-N, I'm taking that off. For you guys on the other side that think it's T-E-N-D-O-N, I'm taking that off. So if you want, watch. I've got it way down the little nub right here. And if I keep working at this, I'm just going to pry it off the face plate. So what I want to do is back off my tailstock, reposition my tool rest a little bit. Oh, by the way, the safety guy said to tell you, don't ever do that. What would you see me do that? Now, in on a cut, light, light, light. I get too much here, I can do two things. Either spin the piece off or break the bottom out. Because that's a pretty good size leverage lever to be pulling on that piece of soft bottom. So light, light, light. What are you, you're not in a race, right? Again, back to the cuts. I'm not relieve it. That's pretty clean. We're going to reposition. You. Now that you're repositioned, you can see this doesn't look so bad. It doesn't, there's a little tear here and there. And we cleaned it up with good clean cuts. Now, what I would normally do is right now go over to the, the grinder, put a brand new edge on my tool, and come back for this. Now, this looks better than what I saw at, the other, at that club the other day. But I'm going to clean it up a little bit more. And I'm going to start by deciding I'm going to put an eighth inch depression in the center. And I'm going to get there from here. Now, this will cut to the center. I'm going to come in again, vertical. No cut. Turn it on. Now, if I started pushing this way, you saw what happened? I lost. So you just want to keep sliding. I can feel that I'm matching the harmonics, so I'm kick it up a little bit. that center and don't leave a bump. Now I know what my cut my good cut was I didn't have to go vertical and come back. All I did was come back, change the position of my wrist back here to make the cut. feels pretty good. Now, how do we get this fixed? We flip around and go inside. Now that's why I got that little bitty bitty edge on there. Because I don't want all this back here. I want to cut just with up here. Just with that front edge. Again.
Too much hit, close it up a little. Close it up more. Reduce that cutting edge. When you feel this, what you did was make the cut, all cut. Let's try it again. This is pretty good. What we did was make it all cut. I went to turn off the lathe and turned off the camera. All cut. Compressed fibers. Compressed because I was rubbing the bevel all the way through. So I have a burnished closed surface right here. I've got a clean cut edge right here. This edge, nice and clean cut. I've got a flat bottom with a slight depression in case this bowl moves ever again. It won't rock on the table. And I've got a nice circumference with which to do my engraving or my name. Now, if I wanted to get a little bit fancier, and I often do, I sign my pens with three stripes. So I would take something like a little multi-tool and just step in a quarter put a line say I want to put my letters about quarter I step in another three eighths and put a line that gives me something to work with to line my lettering of my name to go around it's also nice to do and it took one cut. Now sand everything else after the inscribing and then they lay down real nice. That's clean simple two lines. Now if you decided to take your texturing tool that we made a couple of weeks ago and roll a little pattern around on the, on the, on the uh, base of it, that'll look nice too. Or a chatter tool and put a little vibration or a sorby spiring tool and did a little something, but always remember that when you do something like that, a little is all right, too much is eh. So, oh, and it's all in taste. If you're happy with it, then go ahead and do it. Now, I would sand this up, rub a little finish on it, and call it a finished piece. Take my tape off, clean it up a little bit thinner, and I think this old piece of junk that I keep laying around the shop would be happy. I am because I've been making shavings. I'm Captain Eddie Castle and you take care now. Not too bad. Not too bad. Hey! I took a minute to glue the mat onto the one I was using. Figured next time it'd be ready. Why don't you take a minute and check out my website www.eddiecastellan.com for great deals on cutting bars, cutters, round diamond triangle and square, and a whole lot more including the great Black Hawk sharpening system. Hey, I'll run with the big dogs. Want to run with me? Woof. They came out alright. And I got enough to get one more.